good morning. Well, technically it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, but we're gonna pretend like it's morning. We're not gonna talk about the fact that I'm just now getting my day started. So um, today I'm gonna do a little refresh of my hair. I know you can't tell with this lighting because um, I, I'm not good at lighting stuff. My hair, my hair is, I have like this much of regrowth and my hair is a bit faded. Again, this light makes it look super red. So you don't believe me that I need to re-dye it, but that's what we're gonna do today. And and I mentioned this in my favorites video. When it's been a while since I've dyed my hair, I like to start with a little bleach bath to get an even color because my roots tend to be lighter than my ends and I get a little bit of product buildup uh, because the red that I use is actually really good and does not fade. Or maybe my hair is just really good about red and it doesn't fade, I don't know. My hair does like the red. So what I'm using today is the, this this thing it's a bleach powder i'm going to use two of these 20 volume developer which looks like it's been in a fight it's looking pretty busted it's the lower it all i just smacked myself in the face and then to make it an actual bleach bath which the difference between just bleaching is uh i'm going to add some shampoo the idea behind bleach bath as opposed to just straight up bleaching your hair is that it's a lot less harsh on the hair it does lighten less but i don't need an intense lift i just need like a little bit of a little bit of stripping of the hair. And I've done this several times, it's not my first time. So this isn't one of those, I'm doing something really random in my hair type videos, Brad Mondo reaction style, where I don't know what the F I'm doing. No, I know what I'm doing. At least I believe with my heart of hearts that I know what I'm doing because I've done it before and I didn't burn my hair off. So that's what we're doing today. So we're gonna do two ounces, two ounces. Hopefully there's enough for two ounces in here. It's just e equal parts. Sometimes I get a little crazy and I add conditioner to it, but I don't know if that affects the formula. So I'm not gonna do that today and see what happens. So there's, there is one new thing. I'm not adding conditioner to it. So maybe I will fry my hair off. You know, it needs a good trim anyways. And I'm still deciding whether or not this video is going to include a trim. I already added like these face framing pieces that are super disconnected from the rest of my haircut and I already trimmed my bangs at one point like a couple weeks ago. The length has not been trimmed in well over a year. I think it was November of 2021. It's looking pretty good though for not being trimmed. My hair was pretty short at the beginning of the year and it's it's grown quite a bit. But anyway we're gonna get some bleach mixed up. I'm gonna change out of my beautiful sweater because I don't want to get bleach on. I'm basically gonna just change into the rattiest thing I own. Own. So, hope you enjoy. Don't send this to Brad Mondo, please. I really don't want to be roasted. In the interest of being interesting, I've changed angles. So now I'm gonna section my hair. I only found one clip, so my sectioning is gonna be not great. And I've also changed into a shirt that I've previously bleached in and is very ratty. So since my hair is uber thick, ideally I would have more than two sections, but um, I have ADHD and I can never find anything. So we only have one clip. I'm gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna start at the mids and ends and work our way up. I'm not gonna touch the roots because the roots are virgin and I don't wanna have white, bright yellow, bright orange roots because that is not cute. That is not as, I was expecting like a super satisfying, damn it. Quick, doctor, we need five cc's of ion lightener. That's why you guys subscribe, right? And because I'm a professional and mix this bad boy up with a fork. I don't know, this is looking a little thick. Is it supposed to be this thick? I do not remember it being this thick. I might thin this out. This is, see, this, this is better. We're looking for yogurt. And I'm not even using a brush because why freaking bother? Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. God, it stinks. I hate this smell. I should probably crack a window, right? My biscuits are burning. All right. Bottom layer has been evenly and thoroughly coated. Time to do this top part, which is a lot. Yeah, just gonna try my best. Oh my God, I literally just brushed this. Just use the fork. <laughs> just drop the fork. Okay, let's just, let's just focus on these ends in case we run out. And then we can just say we are going for an ombre look. But you know when most people say don't send this to Brad Mondo, they actually want it to be sent to Brad Mondo because clout. Which one am I? Oh, you'll never know. My method is not professional, okay guys? I never once claimed. What if I put the, the fork between my hair? That would work. I've never used a fork before. That's, that's a new. I just couldn't find my brush. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. I'm just like glotting it. Oh my God. I don't know where that went. Oh my hair, wonderful. 
So glad I don't like these pants. Maybe if I actually use smaller sections, this would actually be better. I don't have another clip, so I don't know how here, just Let's get crazy. We don't make mistakes. We make happy little accidents. Unless our hair falls out, then we buy a wig. Little streaks in the bangs, that's gonna go well. The hair grows. If it gets ruined, we grow it back. Oof, the bottom's already lightning, look at that. Look how thick that is. I'm probably not gonna leave this on that long because it is processing fairly quick and I don't want my hair to be super duper light. I mean, I want it to be like light enough to where the red really pops, but I don't want yellow or orange hair. <laughs> not really the intention. I'm not gonna touch my bangs. I just don't really care to. I'm not looking for like a uniform color. I understand that there's gonna be some variation involved, you know, in my hair. I kind of have a method to my madness, you know, in theory. Clean up on aisle 12. I am going to put a bag around it real quick. And of course, it's a Goodwill bag because what else would I use? That is going to speed up the processing, so I do need to keep an eye on it. And I don't have a clip. Lord. Okay, take a sip. Okay, so I ended up not leaving it in that long because I was very alarmed at how quickly it was processing. I am not used to my hair processing that quick. And it was kind of warm to the touch, which was also freaking me out. And I know that kind of happens, but it was a little bit more so than I'm used to. So I was like, eh, I gotta get this out. My gut is telling me to wash it out. But I just want to show you guys, it has, it has a leave-in conditioner in it right now. I don't know how well you can tell in this light how light the ends are. And this is sopping wet, full of conditioner. She's, she's looking pretty light. Probably can't tell that huge of a difference in <laughs> from earlier because it's dark in here and I just have my studio lights. But yeah, it's it's pretty light. And then my everything up here is pretty dark. I'm kind of embracing the ombre look a little bit because I know I'm not gonna get like a full even coverage or not coverage, but just look because I'm not a professional. But at least if I can go for like a natural ombre bleached out ends look, um, then I'm happy because I like that. So I'm gonna leave it in the hair mask for a bit, wash it out, let it air dry. I'm not gonna add any heat to it and then later we're gonna come back and we're gonna go over it with the color. In the meantime, I'm gonna pop on a podcast and do some cleaning. Okay, well I'm doing this a lot later than I would have liked to do it, but it does take my hair like 50 years to dry and I had a lot of stuff to do today, so yeah. I put it in little, little pigtail braids because my hair is very floof. I feel like Mufasa. But it looks really nice on camera and it doesn't look too bad in real life. It's just really orange in real life. Not a bad color. I'm almost tempted to keep it like this, except that my roots really need some work, so I'm just gonna die. I'm really tempted to just let this be super gingery and just do my roots, just do like that much and just fade it down. Hello, puppy. You wanna say hello? I don't wanna move the camera, so I'm not gonna. Oh my goodness, come here. Say hello, say hello, say hello. Yes, I love you. It's raining and she can't go outside because she's gonna get muddy. Yeah, so I'm I'm like debating right now whether I should dye the whole thing or just leave it this brassy or I think I'm just gonna dye the whole thing. There's like some really, really light pieces and it looks weird, like carroty. I know, you are desperate for attention 24 seven. There are not enough hours in a day to give you attention. Oh, you, you, you're getting all camera shy now. Who are you? Usually love the camera and the camera loves you. I found two more clips. So we have three sections, crown, middle, and then, then the bottom. I'm looking a bit like Ray here, except more busted. And there's like a, a bun right here in the top of my head. So the colors that we are doing, two different colors that I use. I don't know how, ah! So we have the Intense Red and the Medium Intense Red Blonde by Ion and their Color Brilliance line. I usually use half of one of these and then half of the other and then equal parts developer. However, I did not have enough last time. 
when I did only half of each. So I'm guessing I should use the full tube of each or at least like three quarters just because my hair is a lot longer than it was last time I dyed my hair. I have managed to go quite a while since I last dyed it. And if you hear anything at the door, that is Poppy. I banished her and she is attempting to beat the door down. She was crying incessantly when she was in here. Now she's... So I did an ounce and a half of each. I decided not to do the full two ounces just because I felt like that would be too much. If, if need be, I can always just mix up the rest. I have a whole other bottle of developer. Good soup. I'm gonna try not to get this everywhere like I did last time. Like look how light the bottom is, look at that. And you can really see the difference between my, my roots. And I'm gonna try to get smaller sections this time and not do it haphazardly, you know. And I am going to go all the way up, almost all the way up, and then I'll do the roots. Cause those do process quicker and it's gonna get everywhere. like last section and then I forgot about this little noodle. So I did end up having to mix up the rest because I underestimated just how long and thick my hair has gotten. So I am now on two tubes of dye. Also battle scars. Hello. I meant to do this in the daylight, but I got busy today. I had meetings and important person things. Totally not lying about that. Anyway, so um, this is what she's looking like. Definitely darker at the roots, which is what I was going for. Lighter at the ends. And this is the underside, which was looking really, really light, but I love it. I'm glad I went ahead and dyed over it. Let me take my hair down so you guys can see the full thing. It is not really styled. I just threw it up in a half half bun situation. So it looked like I put effort because I went to bed with my hair wet and I really shouldn't be using these elastic hair ties. They always get stuck in my hair. Give me like two seconds. Uh, oh gosh, oh, why do I still use these? Oh yeah, that's, god dang it. All right, well, it's okay, I have plenty of hair. She's pretty frizzy because it's been pouring all day. This is what we're, what we're working with. Oh my gosh, it's a little tangled, but you know, it's fine. This is my shampoo commercial. Yeah, so this is my favorite hair color. This is how I like it. Once I like a hair color, I just kind of stick to it. 
I probably will not change my hair color for a while unless I like do like a full ombre look. But if I do that, I'll probably have it done professionally because I do not trust myself in order to achieve that. But I've always wanted like the fire ombre look, which I think would look fire on me. Man, in daylight, it is like flaming hot Cheeto red. Anyway, so that's where we're gonna end it. That was my hair dye routine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm being silly. Yeah, so that, that, that's, that, that be my hair dye routine. Not a tutorial. This is my hair's natural texture, by the way, in case anyone is wondering. No, I do not curl my hair. Just the front bits when they're being kind of stubborn, although right now it's kind of that. Like and subscribe, this is not a hair or beauty channel, but we do thrifting, we do crafting, and we're just crazy fun. I love you guys. I hope to see you in the next one, which will be more of a, um, a usual video, probably. I don't know. This is going to be just a random video that I'm going to edit at some point. Who knows at this point? Thank you very much. This is... I need to have an actual uh, outro. I don't know. Bye.